seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine power clear. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we'll be working on the Solar Colony, it's been a while, but yes, finally! We're going back into space after Kerbin was destroyed by a comet and we traveled all the way here on a dinky little colony ship going through trial and trial and tribulation design after design trying to make everything work finally the colony was up and running and now it's time to head back out however it's not going to be a quick process things operate a little differently when Kerbin is out of the picture I learned that later on but right now the thing that I'm trying to do is re-establish a better satellite network we accidentally, well, the satellites that we brought with us were not relay satellites. They were direct communication. So unfortunately, you couldn't bounce signals around uh, with them in order to control things like if you had something remote controlled on the opposite side of Duna. You would lose all control of that probe because there was no satellite network to connect to it. So the first thing on the list was to replace that old pre-colony satellite network that came with the colony ship. Building the rocket and the spaceport took a a while but I finally got a design that I like and then of course you have to build it make a type of lifter rover to pick it up and put it on the side of the colony have it build the rocket on the launch pad fuel it up and then finally launch it I end up redesigning the spaceport I put like a little grappler hook on it which looks cool but really doesn't do anything but I think the biggest letdown was the fact that after hours of getting the new satellite network up and running the ones that have the relay dishes on on them. I found out a horrible grim truth about the game mechanics. Unless you have a type of network that connects directly to the planet Kerbin, there is no relay network system. In other words, you can't control something on the opposite side of the planet if you're just controlling it from a command seat on a spacecraft. Even if it has the remote guidance probe on it and all the, and all the relay dishes you can place on it, you cannot remote control something on the other end of the planet. No, 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 no. In order for you to control something on the other end of the planet, that relay network needs to be in direct communications with the Kerbin. With Kerbin. No Kerbin, no remote control from the other side of the planet. You can kiss that goodbye. Which really sucks. It really sucks. Apparently, remote control from a probe, from, from a um, command pod to a probe core is only direct. You can't, from a command pod, pod, <laughs> you can't, from a command module, remote control something on the, end, on the other end of a moon or planet using a satellite network if it's not directly connected to Kerbin. It's some sort of game mechanic that they put in. Unfortunately, the developers, even though they're awesome, didn't see that coming to where, let's say, there's a spacecraft around Elu, far from the reach of Kerbin, trying to remote control a rover on the surface. And so they put out little satellites around Elu to have constant communication with the little rover, right? But unfortunately, because of the fact that it's not in contact with Kerbin, that 
that network is worthless. That satellite network is worthless. So you have to wait until you until your spacecraft whips around until you're right on top of your little rover on Elu in order to be able to co to control it. Because unfortunately, the remote control aspect of Kerbal Space Program only allows you to do a direct control, no bouncing signals or whatever off of satellites unless it's directly from Kerbin. So this is a new revelation, and we're just gonna have to find a workaround, unfortunately, or a mod if such a mod even exists. I don't. I don't think anyone's ever played the game in this kind of way to have found this little problem out. Leave it to me to find shit, huh? <laughs> so that being said, if we want to control anything remotely, it has to be in direct line of sight or communications to a command probe with a Kerbal in it. That sucks. That means the entire satellite network is pretty much bubkiss. Bubkiss my ass. But that's okay. That's okay. I tried everything. I even tried putting the remote control probe cores on satellites to see if that would work, and it doesn't. The remote control probe core only works if it's connected to a part that has a Kerbal controlling it. I think the decoupla and another type of man pod doesn't need the probe core, that remote control probe core, it, it does it by itself or something like that. But still the fact remains that you need direct line of sight to whatever it is you're remote controlling. You cannot use a network in order to control it from like the opposite end of the planet. It needs to be in direct communications with Kerbin in order for that to even be a thing. Dumb, yes, but you know, we can't expect the developers of Kerbal Space Program to think of everything. So what needs to happen now is we need to actually build a spacecraft or a space station to orbit around Duna. This will allow us to have communication and control with whatever it is we have orbiting around Duna at the time. Since we can't do it remotely, we're going to have to have Kerbals in orbit. So a space station is necessary. So after finally launching the station and getting it into orbit, I find out that I accidentally forgot to put on the remote controlled probe core. However, However, the rocket that got the station into orbit has one. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that, leave the rocket attached to the payload until we can get another payload up there in order to fix everything. Because I'm actually really excited about this. I hope, I hope I don't run into any more game mechanics that don't allow you to do crap unless you have direct communication with Kerbin. Because we have to remember, this is a colony. Kerbin's destroyed. It's on its own. It has to figure life out by itself. It has to get resources by itself. It has to make food by itself. It has to shelter the inhabitants by itself it does not have Kerbin to lean on like a crutch but once we get the space station up and running that's when we'll start building interplanetary vessels maybe even go back to Kerbin although I think I might have a surprise because I really want to download that mod that turns Kerbin into a hellhole which would be pretty freaking awesome but anyway yeah this is gonna be a short and sweet video even though it took like I don't know two days to make <laughs> I will be looking at a live stream here pretty soon so look forward to that not sure when Things are getting a little rough at work with a uh, mandatory overtime. Plus, I actually really need it. Got to pay the bills. But anyway, don't forget to don't forget to leave a comment if you have any suggestions or ideas, or even if you want to make your own lore on the whole thing. That's fine. I'm just playing to have fun. But if you want to make a lore behind it, that'd be pretty cool. But if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you really liked what you saw consider subscribing. I upload videos often, and every now and then I might play a different game, but we'll see. Thank you all for being here. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.